Hi, I'm Kevin Alvis. I play Bat on Shadowhunters, and I'm here talking to you, and we are Tracy. <laughs> Uh, Bartholomew Velasquez. People call me Bat. I think he's just trying to figure out what it's like to be a werewolf. I don't think he knows where his life's gonna go now. He's in a whole new world uh, where everyone else understands what's going on except for him. So I think he feels like that like kid in the classroom that just missed the class the day before the whole time. I think that's where he's Gonna have to live for a little while until he figures stuff out. So, being a figure skater and getting to sing a lot, um, uh, it, it really helped me with Bat because Bat in the books is a DJ. So it kind of gave me that insight into that side of him. And anything that's uh, supernatural usually has so much to do with body and movement and skating really helped me figure out that side of him. Um, like that first change into becoming a werewolf, it was, it was hard to get into that place, but playing characters on the ice, which is more physical rather than on screen, really helped me figure that out. And um, it was fun. It was fun to become a werewolf. <laughs> okay, right. Is there anything we can do? So being the new guy on set um, is fun because everyone's kind of having to show you around <laughs> and you can, uh, it can be intimidating because everyone's there every day. So it's like exciting for you, but for them, it's like they've been doing this for like three, four months, especially for Bat because for me, when I came onto set, it was the second or thir third last episode of the season. And so everyone had been doing this for like eight months and then I just show up and I'm like, oh, let's get going, I'm ready. And everyone's like, we're almost done, Kevin, calm down. <laughs> um, but there, it, it's fun because everyone on this set especially is so welcoming and, and the crew made it so easy to feel like I was part of kind of like this family. And it's been really nice. I like being the new guy on this set. <laughs> Look, I appreciate you guys helping me, but I think I need stitches and definitely a rabies shot. <laughs> So personal projects, it's always so hard to share new personal projects because we have some very close to on the horizon, but you can never talk about them until they're no longer on the horizon. So I can't talk about them, but I'm on hold for something right now. And I'd like to get into directing again very soon, very soon. There's two. There's two people in the whole pop culture that I want to play. One is Nightwing, because Nightwing's cool, because he's the coolest. And number two is like, what seven-year-old Kevin needs me to play. Seven-year-old Kevin needs Kevin Alves at 20 some odd to play Tommy Oliver slash the Green Ranger, because I don't know if anyone's seen my Twitter, but my Twitter is after until I become a Power Ranger. <laughs> so um, that iconic role that changed my life growing up, I, it'd be the coolest thing to see myself be able to portray that character on screen. So my driving force is kind of similar to my ambitions to new roles moving forward. Whenever I'm making decisions, I always think to myself, is this gonna make seven-year-old Kevin proud? Because that's, to me, that's the most important thing because like we're at an age at seven, eight where we understand the world, but we're not consumed by all the hate. So it drives me to make decisions that are more fun and, and playful and yet meaningful. So 
from that perspective, mentally, that's my driving force. But moving forward also, I couldn't do anything that I'm doing without my mom, who literally took me everywhere. The ridiculous amounts of auditions, baseball tournaments, skating competitions, auditions again. And it was just, that was my life. So she really makes me want to fulfill all those like things that I've been looking for since I was a kid. I'm, I'm kind of getting drawn to these action roles because I want to see what I'm physically capable of being able to represent in a, in a physical place. I think emotionally we get to, we're, no matter what, you're going to get to go there. Physical roles have emotion, emotional places um, that you still have to go to. Whereas sometimes you have a lot of emotional roles that don't get to that physical place. I want to see if I can bring them together a little bit more. Um, and the problem is, is now I'm trying to fulfill the needs of like young me and, and young me wants all those action roles. It wants all those like fun, hard hitting kind of movies and roles. So I, yeah, it's what I'm drawn to right now. I think I want to experience all of it in time, but as of right now, I feel pinpointed towards some action stuff. I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one because I attempt to live my life without regret. Because I think that's the best way you can because if you start to torment yourself on decisions that you've made and how they could be different, I think you start to question your entire life. And in the world of social media, it is really, really easy for us to question our entire life. So I try not to and I try to enjoy the one that I have. Um, but if I could go back in time and change one decision, in my life, I would have liked to play a lot more tennis when I was younger. I really would have liked to learn tennis at a young age instead of now, because now I feel like I'm behind the curve. <laughs> yeah, I am looking into possibly going to Carnival in Trinidad in February, because I have a lot of friends um, who are from Trinidad and they've been telling me every year that I need to go. And it's one of those things where I think I now need to go or else I'm going to be 40 and I'd be like, I wonder what Carnival in Trinidad would have been like if I went the 1 to 20 times that I was asked to go. So um, it just seems like when I, when I watch videos and pictures, it seems electric. I love electric environments. I love good energy and um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs>